another week of sales. It's a bit on the side, a bit on the slower side, I, I guess you could say, for starting off October. Uh, for starters, uh, starters this week, it's not too bad. We got these two uh, fire companies in Pennsylvania that sold together, five ninety nine each on uh, these. And as you can see, they were both cases. I had two of them, and now both of them have sold. Next, we got a uh, Lake Placid Fire Department uh, driver patch, four ninety nine on this one. I do. I want to say I have mul I have multiples multiples of this. Uh, they're all spread out among, on uh, with different listings. Uh, I've gotten this a few times. So that's uh, just one less one. This was a pretty good one. Oh, I forgot this sold out on offer. I want to say it was seventeen ninety nine. If you look up American University Special Police Patch, this is what they sell for, and this is the going rate. So I figured I'll uh, throw it on there for nineteen ninety nine. Sent out offers two different times, and uh, the second time it was accepted. I want to say it was seventeen ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it was ten percent off. Uh, first class shipping on the, uh, on this, and this was delivered. I want pretty sure it was today. So that is a good sale. That's one of the very few. Uh, good patches that do actually exist out there that are not just five ninety nine specials. Uh, August twenty fifth, so took a couple months, but uh, that's um, obviously you're looking for a uh, very specific buyer for that. Uh, next we have this Newark, Vermont. As you can see, I clearly was paying attention. It's uh, <laughs> clearly was paying attention. Spelled Vermont wrong. Uh, and this one actually was actually a sticker. It's not a patch. Uh, sold. That for five ninety nine and the shipping on this should have been a dollar. Uh, again, was not clearly not paying attention. Uh, as now I don't need to do the dollar twenty five shipping for the bigger envelopes, for uh, the things that go in bigger envelopes. Um, I now ordered, I now I'll order them in bulk off Amazon, which I should have done a long time ago, and I ran the numbers and it's a, literally it's a two cent difference. Uh, it's a two cent difference on. Uh, shipping costs, so I don't need to do that anymore. I'm not going to go back and change any of the previous listings, but it's uh, kind of a for future thing. As you can see this again, uh, Columbus, Ohio, Division of Fire, 599 As you can see again, shipping's not right on that. Uh, next we got Baton Rouge Fire Department, uh, 599 on that one. Shipping is still not right. Uh, next we got this Division of Health, Florida, EMT. Had this one for quite a while, uh, December 16th. And as you can see, I still have another one to sell. And I think I think this as well is something I've gotten a couple other times. And uh, the, those are in diff uh, different listings. Uh, next we got Maryville, Tennessee. Pol oh, Jesus. <laughs> it says Tennessee on there, and I put Illinois in the title. Oh, my God. Uh, clearly was not paying attention this week at all. This sold out on offer 509 and oh boy. I'll have to ch check to see what category this is even in. Probably Illinois even though it clearly says TN which is Tennessee. Oh boy. Uh, next we got Willem, California Fire Protection District. 699 on that one. Next we got a Rome, Georgia Police. This sold out on offer for 449 as you can see, I did the you know, background removal on this one. Looks pretty good. Uh, with just the white background like that. Uh, it would be nice if the f photo itself was tighter on the patch. Uh, as you can see for the back shot, I left it alone. Uh, it would be nice if this was tighter and less white space. Uh, but that's still pretty good. Uh, next, we got a Timex uh, men's watch. This was a uh, watch that my grandmother had bought for my grandfather. Uh, he never ended up getting this. Uh, I don't know if this was before he went to the nursing home or what. And she didn't, obviously, uh, nursing homes, especially around here, I don't know if it's a nationwide thing, but they're absolutely horrible. Uh, you put good stuff like this, it will get stolen. It will, you know, come up missing, quote-unquote. Get stolen, happens all the time. Uh, so she said, uh, uh throw it up on eBay. Oh, I even did a little video. Um... Uh, Oh, probably just to show that, because it, it does work, the time would does need adjusted on that, yeah. And I 
Uh, time and date do need to be adjusted. Like I said, new open box because that's what it was. Uh, sent out an offer, I think, once or twice on this. Uh, it took a tiny bit of time to sell. Uh, listed it back in June, and I think I had it listed at forty nine ninety nine. Dropped it to forty four ninety nine plus shipping. So this was delivered today. So hopefully they will um, enjoy the lie, the watch, and there'll be no problems. Uh, next we got Lemur County, Colorado Sheriff's. Uh, sheriff office, sheriffs, whatever. Five ninety nine on this one. And again, not paying attention because on the title, I never keep in the unused or things like that when I, because a lot of times I'll look it up on eBay, see if there's other listings for it, so that way I can get an idea of what price to charge, and I will do sell similar listings to copy the title, so I don't have to type it out, you know, type out, type it out three, four times. Uh, and I usually take out, like, the new, unused crap like that in the titles. I always take them out because there's no need for that in the title. Uh, next we got a Douglas County, Colorado Sheriff's Office. five ninety nine on this one as well. Next we have an Eastport, Maine, uh, Police, eight ninety nine. Originally I had listed this as New York because that's, um, the lot that I bought it in was supposed to be all New York patches. And it wasn't. And uh, another patch seller messaged me and told me it was uh, Eastport was Maine, so I changed the title in the t uh, title and uh, category, and it sold. And that was, you know, a week. That was probably two, three weeks. That wasn't that long ago, and it uh, sold. Uh, next, Corpus Christi, Texas Fire Department, seven ninety nine on this one. I do have another one. I know that um, from a different lot that I listed. Not that long ago, actually, or needs to, or it's in the queue to be listed. Uh, but seven ninety nine is good. Is a good one. Next is Suwanee, uh, Georgia Police. This sold out an offer seven nineteen on this one. And you can see the white, the lighting on this was much better. The white, uh, the background is like whiter, not as dark on this one. Uh, next is the Smithsonian Institution. Patch, this sold, I want to say, I was going to say I had two of them, I actually both sold this week, and I want to say the one sold while it was on sale, and then the other one sold at full price. Pretty sure this one, the first one sold while it was on that little sale that I did. Uh, there, was, there was only two things that sold, and this I'm pretty sure was one of them. And I want to say it was like five ninety nine because it's 20% off, because I've had this for quite a long time. Um, Anyways, this was ordered... I want, this was sent out the Sunday before Columbus Day, so what, when was that? That's, uh, the 9th is when this got shipped out. I'm pretty sure it was ordered the 8th, um, and then yesterday I received an item not received claim from the buyer, and then the message said that the item didn't arrive by when they would need it, so they wanted to essentially return it, but they opened an item not received claim. So I messaged them, do you want to return it? Because it's more what it sounds like they want to do. And she said yes, but then it hadn't arrived, so she kind of didn't know what to do. So um, I kind of told her, wait till it comes in, um, and then we'll do a return from there. First time I've ever had a patch return, that's that's uh, for sure. Um, so this was a bit odd. Um, especially since it hasn't even come in yet, is the other thing. Um, so we'll kind of have to see how this plays out during this, uh, during the week. Um, but it also is very confusing because, like I said, it was that, it was the 9th that it was ordered and the item that received claim came in yesterday, the, the 16th. Um, and I don't, and it, uh, I don't know when she thought this was going to arrive, um, she clearly ordered this too late for whatever she needed it for. Because even if it was first class, uh, you figure it will, it's not getting sent out till Tuesday. Monday's a holiday, so the post office is closed. Tuesday, first class can take three to five days. And I've had packages that seem to get lost in a city for three days at a time anyways before they get moving again. So this really is a fault of the buyer, not on me, but we'll, uh, I'll take the return on it, whatever. Uh, it's not, see, the thing with patches, it's not big money usually, so I don't, I don't really care, 
if they open a fi false item, not received claim, or, you know, they're being an annoying buyer, I'll tell you, you know, I'll give them their money back and block them just to get them away from me so I never have to hear from them again. So we'll see how that plays out during this week. Uh, although I will have to check my messages and make sure I follow up on uh, that one. Uh, next, we've got this Middle Township Police in New Jersey. Seven ninety nine on this one. Uh, next, we've got this Cook County Sheriff's Office uh, slash Chicago Housing Authority uh, Ghetto Gladiators Warrants Patch. Uh, very cool, I will I must say. Uh, collaboration between the Cook County Sheriff's um, and the Chicago Housing Authority. I'm uh, probably, you know, uh, c trying to clean up the uh, housing projects because obviously housing projects are known for being uh, riddled with crime. I know they are here, especially the ones in Buffalo. I mean, last was it last night? Saturday or Sunday night, there was a 15-year-old shot in a housing project, so uh, definitely not great places to be. A uh, good price on this, seven ninety nine though. Uh, next we got this K this whatever so I'm not too bother uh too bother I can't be bothered to try and pronounce this I'm sure it's something simple uh or just Casey uh South Carolina public safety uh as you can see it's got the public safety police and fire kind of little crest on the their badge uh in the middle four ninety nine on that one. Next is this Painted Post New York Fire Department uh, in Steuben County. Five ninety nine on this. And when I went to pull this, I have two of them. I don't know, and I didn't check to see if the other one was listed or not. Uh, or why I have two of them, so. Uh, might be a little bit of money left on the table. <sighs> uh, next is this uh, Reno, Nevada Fire Department. Four ninety nine on that one. Next, uh, we got Ry Riley, North Carolina, and actually I have two of them, as you can see here in a second, two that sold within like a day of each other, so four ninety nine dollars that one for Riley, 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 Riley. Uh, next, we got San Antonio Police, uh, as you can see I got four of them, sold to one, five ninety nine dollars on that, the other, uh, Raleigh, uh, slightly different, right? Yes, uh, slightly different design. This one looks much nicer than the other one, if you ask me. Uh, next is Westfield, uh, New Jersey Police, seven ninety nine on that one. Uh, next we got Bo Boise, Idaho, uh, Police. Excuse me, I got two of them. So this one five five ninety nine. And this actually is these next three sold together. So this Boise. This Springfield and this Madison, Wisconsin, these all three, all three of these hold together to the same buyer. And of course, it was just because uh, these are a little on the lower value end. It's uh, going to be just under $20, so I can't. Uh, it doesn't meet my threshold to upgrade to first class shipping. So hopefully that doesn't get lost. We'll slamp, uh, put two, two stamps on it and call it a day. Uh, next is Hazard Kentucky Fire Department, five ninety nine on this one. I know I have two of these. One, uh, I don't know. One I know the lot that it came out of fifty F. The other one I don't know where it came from because that's it's not in with another lot. It's in a separate little envelope that I keep for some of the smaller little lots that. Uh, so and I don't know if there's another one lit if it's. This is another one where I have two. I don't know if it ever got listed or it's something I decided, oh, I'll li relist it when the other one sells kind of thing, which is ten uh, which is why I usually don't do that because it gets too confusing, especially with how many patches I have. It's just, it's just too confusing. So um, it might be just one that I have just lying around that it's not even listed. Uh, next, we got a New York State uh, first responder, kind of the EMT style patch. Uh, seven ninety nine on that one. Oh, tired. Next, we got a New Rochelle police. Five ninety nine on this one. Again, not paying attention to put in a condition. Uh, and I also had a question mark in the custom 
skew of what lot this was even in, but I, luckily I do, I do know where this one was. So that wasn't a problem. And that actually is it for sales this week. That's everything I sold for the week. Next, we'll get into a couple quick things that I picked up. This Plum, uh, St. Paul, uh, Warminster, Fort Lauderdale, and uh, Town of Lebanon Police. These are all ones that I picked up uh, from this guy who I, who I bought the bomb squad from and the Detroit uh, explosives from. And as you can see, he's been listing patches for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so that... Uh, so, and I kind of, like, in the last 24 hours, I'll go through and kind of start looking at whatever ones don't have already, don't already have a bid on them. I'll kind of, and I'll look them up real quick on eBay, see if they're kind of low value. Uh, if they're like a 599 or kind of thing, I'll pass. If not, I will pick it up, or I'll put in my bid and see if I win it. And if someone outbids me, I don't, uh, I don't bid again, because the, the margins get too slim. Uh... Grant, even though I really shouldn't be doing this because I haven't sold any of the other ones that I bought from him. Uh, and police is a bit of a harder sale, it uh, seems like. But, uh, like, there were, I bid on a lot more than this, that's for sure. Probably double this. And they all, uh, and a bunch of them I just got outbid on. So, oh well. Uh, I don't, I don't cry over it. <laughs> Uh, there hasn't really been anything that I've wanted for myself either, uh, out of what he's listed. Or there are things that I already have. Already have. And then next, this is kind of just, uh, talking about an eBay experience that I had with another seller. Uh, so as you can see, I ordered this media patch. This little 2x5, uh, because I, I have a bigger, like a 3x9 press patch that I, uh, that I don't or that won't work for the front of my uh, reflective vest that I usually wear uh, out of my bike. I put, um, I got these uh, patches, uh, press patches to put on them uh, for my other uh, side hobby. So uh, today in the mail, I opened my mail, or I see my packages. I see two packages, um, two small pa envelopes, bubble envelopes, that are both first class from the exact same seller so that I'm looking at it and like this makes no sense why do I have two things from the same seller why are they not just sent together like a normal person would do so um I open it up one of them says media the other one says press so uh, I message the seller uh, uh what did you do why do I have press and media I, I actually wanted the pr I want the press one I don't want media to go with the other ones I want them to say press so, we're kind of sorting that out right now, and it's, um, uh, uh, sounded like they were going to try and mail out the right one or whatever, and I don't quite understand what the buyer, or the seller's trying to do, because I don't, I don't need another one, um, another patch. Although this f photo, I will say, is quite misleading. Um, this says, um, this says the navy, but this obviously shows a much lighter blue. It is definitely, um, like a navy blue kind of thing. Definitely does not look like that. Uh, that's for sure. And then next is these two things. This West Seneca Fire Dispatch and this West Seneca Police uh, that I won. Uh, the West Seneca one, no no competition on it. This uh, West Seneca Fire, I had to do a last minute outbid on the other uh, buyer. But uh, as you can see, it's located here in Buffalo. And it's not actually in Buffalo. It turns out it's in Tonawanda. Uh, once I paid, because I was... Exp um, I wanted him to send me a combined shipping thing. I didn't want to. I don't want to pay both shippings because that's unnecessary. Uh, so, but anyways, the uh, it won't. It won't let me. He has it where he won't let me send him a. Uh, do the combined post the combined shipping thing. Um, so I said whatever and paid for and just paid for it and figured, uh, hopefully he'll re just refund me the difference. And, uh, I actually ended up receiving a message from the buyer, um, if he wanted to, um, wanted them to, to, wanted to, if I wanted him to deliver them to me, because he's not that far away, which is, uh, which is true. So I said, sure, I'm home, uh, you know, you can come deliver them. So he comes and delivers them, and, uh, we kind of get to talking, uh, he's actually a retired, 
uh, what was he, captain? Or lieutenant or captain, I don't even remember now, um, of the uh, Tonawanda Police Department, so. And he doesn't live that far either, that, um, that is true. But he also told me that he had uh, recently got a large collection uh, of patches from a friend of his that passed away. So, um, he gave me his email and uh, just told me to pretty much contact him um, of what I need. And, uh, and kind of just go from there, like, uh, see what he has, and he'll send me a picture of it, and if I like it, you know, work out a deal, you know, a little off-market deal, or off-eBay deal, so we don't have to deal with eBay, uh, so I have yet to email him, I've kind of looked through what I have to kind of see, but it's a case of, like, with this West Seneca one, I have other West Seneca patches, I just don't have this specific one, so it was kind of, um, We'll kind of have to see. It's kind of more of I need to see what he has kind of thing than me telling him what I need. Um, but I, I forgot to ask him um, if he has other fire patches or if they're all police, like kind of uh, what it is. Uh, and he t uh, and in, during this conversation, too, he said uh, he's more into like the badges. Uh, and I, I'm more of a patch guy. I do, I do have other uh, like challenge coins and badges and pins of uh local things like i just ordered a hat uh for dunkirk a uniform cap uh, that's on its way so i mean i'll pretty much collect anything for uh what, police or fire western new york so uh this may turn out to work out great uh for my collection so uh we'll kind of have to so that's another thing we'll kind of have to see how it goes um that's not really uh a reseller thing that's just more of a collection thing and we we're also talking to about how we um it's got to charge you know the 480 shipping because uh you know he's too many people i guess you know do the false item not received thing with him and i told him yeah i understand i've had that before too where you, you can't verify if they didn't get it or not uh you kind of just have to take their the buyer's word for it you know and just refund them so uh he did refund me the shipping because he said there's no need to to do the shipping on it when he's, you know, less than two miles from where I live. So we'll definitely have to see how this works out. Uh, granted, it'll, it'll benefit me, not uh, me personally, not my uh, little side hustle of reselling patches. But other than that, I've, uh, I appreciate that uh, covers everything I wanted to uh, cover. And we'll see you next next week.